So everybody who works in the space of content creation and video editing always wonders what's the best tool to get the certain job done because it can mean hours and hours saved and overall a better quality of work. So in today's video, I'm going to cover what's the best video editing software in 2021 for you personally. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. So some of the most popular video editing softwares out there are Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, iMovie, Camtasia Studio, even like Vegas Pro. So there is a lot of different video editors out there and I personally have been editing for over eight years at this point and have tried every one of these and have spent thousands of hours with specifically Premiere Pro, Final Cut and Vegas. So uh, I hope I can give you a good idea about which one you should pick. Now, spoiler alert, I don't think there is one that fits everybody. So there isn't like a one size fits all video editor, but there are pros and cons to each one of these. So I'm gonna go over these and uh, try to recommend you something that can work for you at the end. So let's start with the pros and cons of each one. So the pros of Premiere Pro are that there is a huge amount of video tutorials available for it. There is uh, basically like unlimited creative control. If you pair it with stuff like After Effects, uh, it can be a really, really powerful video editor that you can create almost anything you want with. And also another pro is that there is a huge selection of pre-made templates for it and uh, you know different plugins because it's one of the most popular software. So a lot of people create different additional like extra stuff to it that you can use on your projects if you purchase it. And also another pro is that there are pretty frequent updates. So whenever there's like a smaller bug or something, they usually fix it pretty soon. And uh, some of the cons Premiere Pro are that first of all, it's a subscription based only editing software. So in the long term, if you're gonna be editing for years and years to come, it's gonna be way more expensive than some of the other options. It's a $20 per month subscription if you get just Premiere Pro. So it is not cheap, like it's 240 bucks a year. And you know, if you multiply that that by five years or 10 years, it can get quite expensive, but it is what it is. If you don't have the upfront cash, maybe then it's a better option for you than some of the other ones in terms of pricing. And then another con is that the interface is a bit overwhelming and in my opinion, way less intuitive than some of the other ones. And also some effects require additional softwares like After Effects. So if you want to do motion tracking, for example, or like 3D stuff, you will need additional Adobe software for it to pair it with Premiere Pro. They didn't put like all the different features into Premiere itself. And also another kind of con is that it needs a ton of computing power. So you will need a lot of RAM and a really good processor as well for it. So you will need a good computer if you want to run this smoothly. And even then you will probably not be able to like play back uh, full quality footage if it's like 4K or something like that. And also uh, from my experience, it crashes a lot. So I have worked with Premiere for years as my main editor and it has caused me like plenty of heart attacks. It lost me probably a couple years from my life. Yeah, it crashed a lot of times on me. A lot of times I couldn't even recover a project. So I wouldn't say it's the most reliable software that is out there. Those are the pros and the cons for Premiere Pro. Let's move on to Final Cut Pro. So the main pros with Final Cut Pro 10 are that, well, first of all, it's super optimized and super fast because it's a Mac only app. So Apple could basically just optimize it for their own hardware. It's not made for every computer hardware there is out there. So for that reason, it's really, really fast. Even if you don't have the fastest computer in the world, you can run it on like a MacBook Air and uh, still be able to edit like 1080p footage pretty easily and smoothly with it. Also, it almost never crashes. I would say it crashes like 70% or 80% less times than Premiere Pro, for example. And it has like a really good auto save function, which is seamless. So in Premiere Pro, you can also turn on auto save, but it will only do it like uh, every couple minutes or if you do it manually and it will like stop the whole software for a little bit. But with Final Cut, it does it in the background. So you don't even notice it, but basically with every single edit and change that you make to your footage, it will save it. So you will never really have that happen to you when you made a change a few minutes ago or even like in worst case scenarios like a few hours ago your software crashes or something happens and then you lose that progress it will save like basically everything for you also it has like a feature called the magnetic timeline which i think is really intuitive and i can personally work really effectively and fast in final cut way more faster than uh, Premiere or the other options on this list. And also the render times are ridiculously fast, in my opinion, compared to the other ones. I would say like 
with the same kind of level of hardware you can get like two to three times faster render times on final cut and uh yeah just overall the interface of final cut is super intuitive it's really simple to use in my opinion and i really like the way the software works and looks overall now there are some cons with it of course and the first con and the biggest one for me is that it's a bit lacking in the color grading section so it's not even nearly as good as for example premiere pro for color grading also there are not as many plugins and templates available as for premiere there are still plenty but not as much um, as for premiere also it's you know not capable with the adobe software so you can't really use it but uh, together with after effects or photoshop or any of those other adobe softwares and also it obviously only runs on mac so that's a big con if you use windows because then you can't use it basically <laughs> and also it's a bit expensive it's 300 bucks upfront payment but once you pay that you know you get it forever with all the uh, upcoming updates as well so in the long term it comes out to be much cheaper than premiere pro but it is like a bigger upfront investment but they do offer a 30-day trial which is quite nice so you can check it out for yourself whether you like it or not so those were the pros and cons of final cut pro let's move on to the next one which is camtasia studio so the main pros are that it's also a pretty simple interface and i would say beginner friendly it was one of the first editors that i have tried back when i was doing gaming videos and yeah it has pretty decent presets and effects that make editing faster and just overall it's a really good you know basic editor I would say for anyone just starting out with the pro version you can still create like really you know advanced stuff as well so not super limited but I personally probably wouldn't choose Camtasia Studio over like Premiere Pro or Final Cut but it is a decent choice but there are some cons with it as well the first one is that I believe you need to pay for some updates so I don't really like that that even if you pay for the full thing like you don't get everything for it which is i guess a bit weird now i might be wrong on this but this used to be a thing in the past i believe it is pretty slow overall compared to final cut for example it crashes quite a bit so I, I didn't feel as confident in it as an editor in software overall as some of the other ones and also there are not even nearly as many templates and presets for it as for Final Cut or Premiere Pro because it's not as commonly used. And it's again around like a $300 upfront payment or you can also get a monthly subscription for it. So it's not much cheaper than the other ones either. So those were the pros and cons of Camtasia Studio from my experience. Now let's move on to the last one on this list, which is iMovie. Now with iMovie, the main pros are that first of all, it's a free app. So if you buy a Mac, you get it for free and it is quite a good editor for free. <laughs> I definitely have to say that it's really easy to use it has a really simple interface just overall an amazing software for anybody who wants to get started in editing and it's a good like introduction and as you get better and better and you find the capabilities of it limiting you creatively you can maybe upgrade to premiere pro or final cut and also it's ridiculously fast and optimized because again it's made by apple only for apple hardware so they could optimize it a lot more for their computers now the cons again it's that it's first of all mac only so you won't be able to get it on a windows computer and also it has very limited capabilities compared to final cut or um, premiere pro or even sony vegas or now it's called i think uh, something else vegas pro but you know compared to those more professional video editors it's really lacking in capabilities but overall for just like beginner stuff if you just want to get your first youtube video edited or your first video project and you just need like simple cutting putting music and uh, stuff like that then it's still a pretty good choice so which one do i personally use and which one do i prefer out of these four now again i use all of these in the past i haven't used imovie as much but the other ones i've used a ton and i would say my personal favorite one and the one that I use around 80 to 90% of the time is Final Cut Pro simply because of the speed. It's so fast and I can get a video done so fast in it compared to the other ones. The rendering times are also a lot better for me. So overall, I just saved so much time that I couldn't really afford to use uh, Premiere Pro compared to Final Cut on my projects. It just wouldn't make sense. It would take too much time compared to that. But again, when I was using Windows computer, I was using you know Premiere and I could still get all this stuff done and even some more advanced effects sometimes so i don't really edit like movies or anything that's super complicated and if you are planning to do that then i would say um, premiere pro is a better option because you can pair it with after effects and then it's you know amazing but with final cut you can only 
pair it with motion, which is like Apple's version of, you know, After Effects, but it's not nearly as good in my opinion. So yeah, I would say if you use Windows, Premiere Pro is probably your best shot. There are a ton of tutorial videos on YouTube for free where you can learn all the, all the different features and different effects. If you have a Mac, I would personally suggest you to use Final Cut because it's just so far superior in terms of speed. And yeah, there are also a good amount of tutorials on Final Cut as well. So I think that's a pretty big thing as well because if you use Camtasia Studio, Vegas Pro or any of these, like all of them have a good amount of videos on YouTube, but the ones that are still getting like updates are mainly Premiere Pro and Final Cut. So that's the reason why I would choose one of these two. But again, this is just my personal opinion. You don't necessarily have to agree with me. You might like a different editor a lot better, like DaVinci or something like that. So there is no right or wrong answer, I think, to this question. It just really comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you are someone who is a creative, a freelance, or even just a creative agency owner and you want to get more clients online and get like a really good support system and get a system that works for getting high paying clients online then check out the description below consider booking a call with me where I will present you an offer if they are a good fit I have a new coaching consulting program where I basically help people start and grow their own creative agencies uh, online and uh, get clients. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description below. Other than that, I uh, will see you guys in the next one.